All right, everybody, HK doesn't usually smoke weed, but since it was 420, we decided we'd get him super high and watch some Scientology videos for the intellectual Dollar Tree. Uh, if you're watching on video, you're going to probably enjoy it. If you're checking it out via audio, you might want to check out the video. Uh, we're on Odyssey, and you can also find us on YouTube. Thanks for uh, <laughs> watching this. I got a hold of a book. Oh, Scientology. Drop some science on Scientology. L. Ron Hubbard's weird sci fi philosophy. They cloud theology and top secrecy. Technology, mythology, and no apology. 1952 was when it all began. Started on a bet by a frustrated man. His books weren't selling, so L. Ron thought fast. He started his own religion and make a lot of cash. Alien rulers, past lives, tone scales, copywritten text, and scary emails. Shutting up the critics, core battles left and right. Mysterious deaths in the middle of the night. Personality tests, e meters. Snarking on Times Square recruitment from dust to dawn. All this from the guy who wrote Battlefield Earth. Salvation for a feel and see what your soul's worth. There's a place in Florida where you got friends. What help you present if you give us those ends? Party at the church in Scientology. Don't call it a cult, you just don't understand. Write us a check and take our hand. Party at the church in Scientology. Actors are a target for their army of elite They feed their self-esteem and make them feel complete They mess with their minds, just look at Tom Cruise Jumping on the couch during Oprah's interviews John Travolta fights Staten's in his Florida estate Piloting his plane, Dianetics books on tape Bet counts past lives in a temple in Bel Air Katie Holmes stays home and plays pregnant solitaire Isaac Hayes still pays to reach that upper level state But left South Park when they hated on his face Sonny Bolo made donations, should have bought better skis Dougie Fresh Free Crusaders on the mic as EMCs Juliet Lewis, Jason Lee and Shaka Khan Because of L. Ron, all their money is gone Shikaria, Kirstie Alley, and Nancy Cartwright Hopes weekly prayer circles on their UFO headlines Once you step into the temple, your troubles will be gone We'll get you back on track, every Everybody sing along. Party at the church in Scientology. Don't listen to the lies, you know they're all untrue. So why not come right down? Cause we're waiting for you. Party at the church in Scientology. So that's Scientology. P S C U D O R E L I G I. One you've heard, so now you know. They drain your cash fast, so as long as you agree, you can put a price on freedom when it's coming COD. Okay, they ruin lives, and it sounds like science fiction. What about Noah's Ark, Jesus, and the crucifixion? Faith is subjective, you can't say who's right or wrong, though I'll probably end up missing just for writing this song. Hey, did you guys hear that the Easter Bunny's bringing Bigfoot to the meeting tonight? All right, everybody, welcome to, well, the Intellectual Dollar Tree. It's 420, so we're going to have a little <laughs> bit of fun today and do a little bit of a throwaway episode. Podcast listeners, go ahead and uh, check us out on uh, on our new YouTube channel. Shh, don't tell anybody. Or uh, Odyssey, where you can uh, find the video from this, because this is not really going to make a whole hell of a lot of sense as an audio podcast, though you are welcome to listen to it. Um, HK, do you remember when we watched a show about a boat? Oh, Yes. I, I love the show about the boat. I found the whole show about the boat. <laughs> Are we going to watch that? Yeah. So happy 420. We're watching a show about a boat. Oh my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a minute anyway, after I move everything around on the overlay, because uh, I are a uh, good host. Here we go. Here's a show about a boat. <laughs> Scientology. Graphic design is our passion. She's powered by 270,000 pounds of thrust. Guided by a state of the 420 episode. Navigation system. Oh, thanks for the resub. Aaron. Mission. 
In this episode, we'll take you aboard the Free Winds, the Church of Scientology's religious retreat and humanitarian ship. Humanitarian's a funny way to uh, describe a ship where they make people scrub the floor with a toothbrush. But. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Those monitors looked old. Come hell or high water. You'll see when did this come out? This is a little bit old. Okay. Scientology's humanitarian objective. I think they bought the ship used. Devastating crisis. Didn't they? <laughs> and changing the fate of entire nations. The other reason we're doing this besides 420 is I have a gig tomorrow night. The free no Scientology show. <laughs> but as we learned when we watched that David Miscavige interview, Scientology and the IDW use the exact same techniques. To be fair, Scientology has cooler shit, though. <laughs> they have way cooler shit. Yeah. And, you know, I make fun, but graphic design, they they got a pretty good graphic design team. Yeah, that studio they showed us is in full effect right here. Yeah. We watched a show about their studio, if you remember, too. Uh, and one about their printing press. Where they invented a bunch of machines off the shelf. Right, they invented, they all said Xerox on them, but they, were, <laughs> they invented them. They invented this boat, too. Caribbean island. Probably, yeah. Off the shelf, right? The boat shelf? Is the Free Winds. The Church of Scientology's religious retreat and humanitarian ship. I think, I wonder if this was before or after they had a measles outbreak on their fucking (laughs) boat. As a 12 story building. Well, yeah, it's a boat. (laughs) It's a big boat. (laughs) And 65 feet wide. Like, no joke, it's a real big boat. Constructed of 12 nice boat. Weighing more than the Just think of how many people had to be, like, made unhappy to buy this boat. She is captained and crewed by veteran members of the Sea Organization. How many checking accounts were cleared out? Yeah. How many lines of credit were? Uh, how many lines of credit were people defrauded into opening? Her bridge combines state-of-the-art digital technology with old-world nautical techniques. <laughs> with state-of-the-art analog technology. Right. That was like. That was a, uh, the, the, what are they? They're called a circle, aren't they? A uh, compass. Oh, a right. compass. Yeah. The ship itself. Which has always confused me why we have a compass, like a magnetic compass, and a compass, like a drawing compass. They're called the same thing. actually has a strong spirit and a crew with a great deal of professionalism. I have news for you about other words, HK. Strong <laughs> intention. You combine the two and uh, you have... The word cock means two things. <laughs> Word balls means many things. <laughs> the free winds features not words can mean different things. I don't believe you. Her decks are lined with passenger cabins and suites, and her onboard amenities include a sun deck. You can include just enough lifeboats for the top tier. <laughs> <laughs> a like it's a cruise ship, right? Right. Like it, it's restaurants. it's a cruise ship. And poolside well, it's got cruise ship stuff. Well, they probably ruined a lot of the, any like the the fun stuff so that they could like keep star gourmet cuisine. Oh come on! And from the fine dining to the immaculate cabins to the or else ports of coal. You keep your cabin immaculate or else. <laughs> no, the people who stay in the cabins aren't the people who are are working. Higher <laughs> purpose. They're they're down below near in, the in, engines, right, like in less immaculate cabins. Arrive for advanced Scientology. Yeah, you, if you think about this, is like a layer cake of boat. <laughs> The bottom layer gets the worst conditions. Conventions. Including an annual summit to commemorate the Free Wind's maiden voyage. Why do you have an annual party to commemorate the boat? Like, who has a... Like, who, who throws a birthday party for their boat? <laughs> have, have, have you been told how proud they are of their boat? I, I've noticed a little bit. <laughs> it's like, everyone is important. And everyone has to be doing well. For us, instead of just arriving to a port and letting our passengers go out and then come back and then go on to the next one, no, we prefer to 
Look, none of these people have names again. It's public affairs officer, Sea Org, <laughs> motor vessel, free winds. Like, this, the guy's name is Charlie. Just put his name on the screen, dude. Come on. To be, you know, I think he had to legally change his name to public affairs officer. In the form of volunteers or educational materials, supplies, help, friendship. This humanitarian ship brings aid to where it supplies good educational materials. Not so mm, great. <laughs> not from Scientology. Mankind. Like Scientology, if you want to do your white savior shit, just do it with food, please. The yeah. intersection of 21st century technology and old world nautical skill. And later, that was a sextant, right? Free winds plays in a country's transformation. This might not be so bad via audio, although the, the visuals really do do it. Imagine science. Ignored. <laughs> imagine science. Whatever you imagine, that's probably in Scientology. Right. If you don't know science, this is probably in there. Imagine oh, I, I love how it lets you fucking... It, you could skip their commercials for themselves. Combined. Inside of the video, do you see this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they let you. St I'm not going to do it because they're commercials for themselves. Like, what is the? We're just watching a giant commercial for themselves. Is possible. This is like a commercial within a commercial. <laughs> we now interrupt this commercial presentation for a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like Jeep and fucking like, I don't know, Coca-Cola are like lining up to put ads on the Scientology show. <laughs> Although they should on the one about the boat. I think it would be <laughs> advertising dollars well spent. Could we advertise on the Scientology Network? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. <laughs> but no. They would never accept our money. Because of that. No. That is shirt with drugs. Oh, this is uh, Voices for Humanity. Yeah, this is the White Savior show. The Voices for Humanity. People can't make their lives better. They have a whole bunch of shows. Don't you ever show up somewhere and there's a bunch of people in yellow shirts, like there was a disaster or whatever, see a bunch of people in yellow shirts? Make them give you $20 and then make them leave you alone. <laughs> like, that's all you can do because they're fucking Scientology. From a whole new angle. The first impression most people get when they come is the warmth that comes with it. It's like people that try and sell you a timeshare. It's Like, they'll give you something, but you have to say no a lot. There's nothing like this place. Don't miss Destination Scientology on Scientology. There's tons of places like that place. It's just a church. It's like a particularly weird church, too. Maybe there aren't. Oh, what a, what a weird looking dude. <laughs> you know what he would have been concerned about if he were alive um, about 10 years ago? He'd have been concerned about ethics and games journalism. <laughs> That's what I can tell you about L. Ron Hubbard. Yep. To vessels <laughs> it would have been king of Gamergate. He did exactly that. Now, Ron Hubbard wrote a lot of data about ships. He was a master mariner of both power and sail, unlimited. This is very rare in the world. He knew ships. He had to, because he he was, like, wanted pretty much <laughs> everywhere. So he had to be able to drive whatever boat he could get his hands on. <laughs> in international waters immediately. Religious order itself. A legacy which carries forward to this day on the decks of the free winds. This is the bridge. At 650 square feet, it is a blend like a small of apartment. And analog technologies, integrating hundreds of... Uh, it depends where you are in the world. Sometimes that's a large apartment. From a large, definitely a large compartment in the ship, actually. Charts. That was your... <laughs> To a full 650 autopilot. square feet is a lot of room in, in a ship. Satellite GPS. This they invented that shit. <laughs> we are on the bridge of the Sea Org motor. This vessel. is where all the yeah. Well, that's where the fucking controls are. By the way, that was satellite GPS. called the Telegraph. Not to be confused with the earlier GPS, which actually did exist that used radio, but was never available to consumers. <laughs> Well, this boat, <laughs> this boat isn't that old, is it? I don't know how old this, how old is this boat? Yeah, radio GPS uh, hasn't been around since, like, World War II. Using rapid-fire course calculations, it forecasts and plots possible collisions, 
giving a potentially <laughs> This is fucking navigation <laughs> computer. Good job. Yeah. Hey. At the ship coming. Of the bridge, <laughs> the system designed not to detect the ship's course, but to control it. This is the autopilot. Oh my god, you shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rotating it. Oh, 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 one more time. They just bought all this stuff. I love this. At the very center of the bridge <laughs> I told you. is a system designed not to detect the ship's course, but to control it. This is the autopilot. <laughs> Can't fucking believe that. Great. It utilizes the most advanced electronic gyro compass available. Wait, what? Rotating at more than 6,000. The most advanced electronic gyro compass available. North with pinpoint accuracy. Available on the ship? External motion. Or just anywhere. Or uh, I guess they would put it available to them. And they would <laughs> available for them to talk about in this video? Not on this ship. I assume they mean available commercially. While many ships at the, the time the ship was purchased. Enjoy the benefits of digital tools. They do so because certainly the military has better equipment than Scientologists. For two more 36 cars. hours into the crisis, no hot food, no hot How a giant modern cruise ship equipped with state-of-the-art steering and navigation ran aground is not clear. When electronic systems fail on the oh, well, I thought they were gonna like show a video where the free winds came and saved the day, but actually they're like, no, your boat isn't as good as ours. Look at what ashore, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> like I thought it was gonna be one of those. The free wind saves the day, but nope. Yeah, free winds was like <laughs> laughing over in the corner. <laughs> there was a, there was a crisis. That's because they didn't have our boat. Chief engineers and five master mariners. Everybody out on the decks. We only have the helicopter for one hour. Additional nautical arts. That's some shit that L. Ron Hubbard like wrote down that they had to do. They're like, hey, whatever you do, you need a map and a and a compass and some, some protractors. You just need to do it. It's like double. It's like useless work that they're just doing. Crew can't use to keep the free wind safe. Here you have the ship's dog. Her purpose is security. Her name is Yuri. In Japanese, that means lily or flower. We call her the monster. I hope they take care of the Scientology dog. A spinning glass disc ejects water at 20 rotations per second, what? creating a perfectly clear view through even the worst storm. But perhaps... Oh, come on. What the fuck? ...is this thin-stemmed glass filled to the brim. purpose of this is that each watch is required for keeping the ship as smooth as possible. Now, if they don't keep the ship smooth, they're gonna, they're gonna spill the water. With all systems- Or else, oh my God, like what happens if you spill like a drop, a drop of water? What do they do to you on this boat? <laughs> throw you overboard. <laughs> a perfect mastery of any one of these tools can mean the difference between safety and disaster between life and death. Yeah, the ocean's an unforgiving place. 2,300 hours. The stuff that they describe that's somewhat interesting is like ordinary and has nothing to do with Scientology. And then when they start talking about how great they are, it's hilarious. I love this. This is my favorite show ever. Stress call comes in. A local fishing boat is missing. And time is of the essence. It was dark and the wind was starting to blow. So what, what about the glass now? Wouldn't be picked up by any um, well, source, any radar. We should be happy that they consider human life more important than a glass of water. No I'm actually surprised. <laughs> like, yeah, if we go into that bad weather, no, the ship's fine. It's just the fucking wine glass, and they're gonna make me. They're gonna make me scrub the floor. <laughs> the glass will spill, and then I will be in trouble. I bet you that probably crossed their minds, too, and they were like, well, should we try to save these human lives that are in danger? And so we... Uh, okay, so we've got human lives on one hand, glass of water on the other. I guess we should. Then we figured They're like, you know what? If we save them, they're stuck on our boat for at least as long <laughs> as till, till we get to shore so we can indoctrinate them. If we save them, we've got like eight new Scientologists. <laughs> Out in the middle of nowhere. That was just 
raw tension and making it go right. Except that I think they saved the captain. Oh, that's just now they look a lot like him. They look like the same guy. Charged engines that tower 21 feet high. Yeah, they're just describing a giant ship engine now. They're like, look, <laughs> it's, it's, it's special. Drugs are becoming legal. Kids are thinking it's safe. Are they going to go save Portugal? People have no idea. What Drugs are becoming happen. legal. People are thinking it's Everybody. safe. You want to pass the bong? Oh, yeah. Our purpose has been to change conditions. Don't miss Voices for Humanity on Scientology Network. For me, very key moment in a person's life is discovering what their passion is. The funniest thing in the world still is that you can skip these commercials for themselves inside of their own <laughs> show about their own boat. It's amazing. It's really, that's really some good I shit. I own an award-winning audio post company. I'm a singer-songwriter. To be clear, if you guys are unaware, the biggest this airs on actual cable television. Don't miss Meet a Scientologist. Yeah, we saw it at uh, when we were at uh, the Councilman Good Wife's place. They're yeah, like when you buy cable, probably part of the money that you're spending for that cable goes to Scientology. Every landmark. Different people have different deals. Maybe they maybe they pay to have it on cable. The cable company. I doubt like, it. I know a sucker when I see a sucker. <laughs> and the triumphs, the defeat that pushes us into the shadows, and the inspiration that brings us back. Uh, drugs are bad. All of life's journey. There is no language adequate to describe. Ultimate height. This isn't a drug. <laughs> Your full potential. We're not going to reach our full potential tonight. It's 420. <laughs> We're going to reach four twentieths of our potential. Attention all crew. Attention all crew. Which is also two tenths, which is also one fifth. Oh, I think we're gonna we're gonna see them save another boat. And ten turbochargers just to rev these engines up. Honestly, if I were like about to die in the water, I would be happy to see the Scientology boat. Not because they're Scientology, but because they're another boat. Uh, I'd probably be like, <coughs> I'd be really happy at first, and then I'd be like, wait, you guys are Scientology? Raised the gang and cast off. All right, all right, thanks anyway. And this float no, I mean, like, not, <laughs> not that I would turn them down, but thank you, even though you're Scientology. You'd be excited because of the boat. As they reach the open sea, the captain fine tunes everything from the. Bow That's true. I would like to be on the Scientology boat, not because I'm a Scientologist, but because I'm visiting. This is the Kamiwa system. While many ships have fixed pitch propellers. The free wind is variable. The steeper the angle, the greater the thrust. The Kamiwa system, along with many other systems, can be operated from the bridge or from below decks. They have that helicopter technology. That's... That's real expensive, you know? They had to they had to trick so many people into giving them money to afford that. This panel here shows all of our water, heavy fuel, lubrication oil, because we have to take everything with us when we go to sea. Well no shit, you're a boat. Below the control room are the engines. Yeah. You have to bring what you need. Built from nearly Hey guys, I forgot the oil. Can we pull over at that gas station? Do you mean the offshore oil rig? No, we can't pull over there. pounds of torque. Wait, Exxon, Exxon doesn't play. They'll just shoot us. <laughs> Whoa, I thought they were going to claim there was a racetrack on the boat for a second. Weighs 28 tons. Stark raving, it is not early for Scientology TV. Today is 420. At 600,000 pounds. So HK is actually here. I'm getting him high and we're watching the Scientology show about the boat. I'm getting high for the first time in like two and a half years. Which must be brought to an exact purity. Or actually, no, I got high on stream once, like a few months ago. 
Was that when I told you to go find your weed? Yeah, and then I just lit it on fire and breathed above it. 6,000 RPM ejects particulates smaller. This is definitely a throwaway episode of the Intellectual Dollar Tree. I'm still putting it out on the podcast feed, though. If people really want to listen to us hanging out and watching this, they fucking can. What are they showing right here? I've been missing this. There oh, was this some the like engine. centrifuge or something. Oh, okay. Peanut gallery is paying close. Peanut gallery is paying close attention. Any repair of any size. This is just like a fuel injector for a boat. Okay. Where the precision of a single weld has the potential. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's a boat engine. Yeah. No matter how many people you have on board the ship, you have to provide all the services. A ship is a floating city. But to be I would disagree. Cities are much larger than a than a ship. Self-powered. It might be like a floating village. This fleet of generators is capable of producing 1800 kilowatts of electricity continuously. That's enough energy to illuminate 36,000 household light bulbs simultaneously. But that's a bad measure of electricity. Yeah, 36,000 household light bulbs. Like, what kind of light bulb? I have no concept for <laughs> what you could do with that. Like, right. I don't have 36,000 light bulbs in my house. But they could pick, like, to the gallop and washing machines or some shit. Yeah, like, the, uh, a household, the amount of electricity that a household consumes just from it, its light bulbs is, like, minuscule compared to the amount of electricity it consumes overall. Right, I don't think I don't think it actually makes that much electricity if they had to choose light bulbs. Which is called EcoSpeed, a very eco-friendly Look at ship training officers. See, none of these people have already you know when they have the Chiron up, they're supposed to put your name there. But these people do not have any respect for the people that work with them. So, oh imagine having to be the fucking guy that like now go clean the bottom of the boat. The reefs and the fish. Yeah. Like, oh man, I, I learned to be a scuba diver, and now I scrub boats for Scientologists. Emergency systems. If the fire alarm goes off, it will automatically close some of the 134 fire doors. If you look above me, you'll see these little... Shit, it will, like, automatically trap people? <laughs> yes, I think so. No, I think that there are ways out. So I think oh, that, okay. I think that... But Scientology could have, you know, re, re, sort of re-engineered that. ...of a round surface. And you have millions of these coming out of that under 2,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. Maritime regulations require every ship to undergo an annual safety... I assume you can open a fire door. Certification. I could be wrong, but it's not like... This is Lloyd's... It's not like a pressure door. I assume you can open it. Right, yeah, I think they just would that automatically will. close because they're made of metal or something. Yeah. But aren't all the doors in a boat made of metal? I don't know. O nine hundred. Inspections begin. Like, <laughs> what is the like, point they're trying to prove that they bought a big boat? Okay, it passes, be impressed. They test <laughs> it passes inspection, HK. Alarms. The boat passes inspection. I would assume so. They sample airflow and quality in the ventilation. That looked like the fire door. It didn't look like you could open that. Winches that secure. I hope they're not trapping people. I bet there's ways out. I bet that, unless again Scientology moved the doors around. <laughs> And breaking to a sudden stop. What? They test mooring lines. And even drop the anchor. Yeah, it's an inspection of your Shit, fucking boat. they even drop the anchor? A quarter mile of solid iron. Each link weighing 90 pounds. The anchor itself is more than four tons. And it hits the water with the force of dynamite. Oh come on! What? How many? How, how much the dynamite? The force of dynamite? What the like, fuck does like, that mean? Like how many dynamites? <laughs> Fifteen seconds. <laughs> the force of dynamite. <laughs> That's wild. Earning Lloyd's Register's highest certification. In a like I wouldn't be worried about dynamite if it were like you know a few molecules of it. Year in a row. You get that rating or else. You visit a lot of vessels every year, and uh, you're able to identify... Marie, 
Marine surveyor Lloyd's register. Uh, oh, he, case, they accidentally are showing his last name. His last name's this. Guerrera. <laughs> but they were not showing his name on the Chiron. No siree. <laughs> lies the most crucial element of all. The beating heart of this humanitarian ship. Her crew. Oh, God. The, the fucking Up next, indentured servants. Maritime <laughs> found nowhere else in the world. That's depressingly true. Once you actually start talking to somebody about it, they're like, just, okay, what is Scientology? I got something that you've never seen before. Come on. Ready for a new life. Let's go. Oh, no. Scientology describes itself as a religion, but I would describe it as a cult. That's what it is. Music is always so over the top and bad. Curious. Yeah, but that's in any religious video. Dude, that's fair. That's fair. Drugs are becoming legal. Kids are thinking it's. They already showed us this commercial for themselves. I can't let that happen. Pass the bong again. Every time this commercial comes on, we gotta take a hit from the bong. Human rights to everybody. Drugging people is not treatment. Our purpose has been to change conditions. Don't miss Voices for Humanity on Scientology Network. To the curious, the inquisitive, the secret. Oh, hello, that dude, Zoo. Welcome. The ones who just it's 420, so me and HK and uh, about the, the other David on the couch are getting high and watching the show about a boat. Cute questions, big questions, ones that matter. To the rebels, the artists, the free thinkers, and the innovators who care less about labels and more about truth, who believe non Fuck this label. That knowledge is more than words on a page. You're young, you're old. You're powerful beyond measure, and the fuel of that power is not magic or mysticism. I mean, it's not knowledge either, though. <laughs> the things you know to be true. If you're in Scientology and you have that wonderful life, it's probably just like the best luck that ever happened to anybody. Not the Scientology part, but I mean, having like a reasonably decent life. Because in the eternal debate for answers, the one thing that's true is what's true for you. No, false. Very false. Yeah, it's a thing conspiracy theorists essentially say. Yeah. Just because something is true for you does not mean it's true. If it does not match reality, then it's not fucking true. Well, I mean, if you were if you're trying to prime people to give you money in Scientology, wouldn't wouldn't that one of the that be a pretty good saying to kind of get even if it just kicks people out of yeah. the funnel at the top so you don't waste time on them? <laughs> yeah. Land isolated from any emergency services. If someone, if someone hears you say that and goes, "Yeah, that sounds right," yeah, then, then you know you can take their money. A thermal liner. Now they're describing a fucking fire, a fire person <laughs> suit. Like this is this is just a firefighter. These are firefighter components. Like you could use this as an educational video for like the various parts of like boats and firefighting equipment. <laughs> You're like, what is a firefighter? Well, here, it's a good, I'm glad you asked. I have this graphic just right here for you. Just cut out all the Scientology stuff. <laughs> like just present their little graphics. <laughs> Now, Ron Hubbard had the responsibility back in 1967 to train the first CR crew. I mean, that's not exactly what was happening back then. Look, they use his <laughs> they use his name on the Chiron. See that? <laughs> the, only, the only first. They don't even use the captain's name. <laughs> it's Captain. <laughs> No, uh, maybe David Miscavige, but maybe not. Tom Cruise would definitely get. Yeah. In addition to the DCRP, the Freewinds maintains high-level safety training for all of her crew. I think it's just they don't want you Googling these people in case they, like, drop out of Scientology and start, hate, start like, uh, like, bagging on them. What if these are all actors? <laughs> like, what if all these people are out of central casting? <laughs> that could be true. And two like how much what percent of this video do you think is embellishment oh it's <clears throat> embellishment yeah it's like passengers and crew. they're probably not embellishing the things the ship does the the, the tone that it's like with its hundred like not just a boat that you could go buy if you were rich that's the that's the, the oh yeah that part. for sure is embellishment but like you know they're they're showing people like doing the the fireman training and stuff like 
Do you think they they do that often? Lower. Yes, probably. Knowing how we're on Hubbard, <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> like, All right, be, that's a good point. Better be ship shape. I got a hold of a book. Each lifeboat weighs twenty four thousand <laughs> pounds and can seat up to eighty people. The lead boat carries an emergency position indicating radio beacon and search and rescue transponder. Why don't the other boats? They are all powered by air-cooled diesel engines. Air-cooled diesel? That's just like a fucking engine. Yeah. <laughs> They're all powered by survival arsenal engines. It's a multi-stage drill the crew executes in full multiple times per week. Once you've drilled them through everything, you drill them again to a higher level. You keep them razor sharp at all times. The crew is probably the best. Executive Vice President Sunstone. Oh, they bought it from Sunstone Ships Incorporated. That, that guy probably knows more about the boat than anybody. He's like, oh, it's just like a mid-level boat. And the guy's like, you would not believe how much these suckers paid for this average-ass boat. <laughs> Fucking employee of the year for selling this shit to David Miscavige and pretending it's special. It's just one thing, an unstable environment that you need to make stable. The year is 1996. A civilian ship named Discovery One pulls into harbor, her engine room ablaze. On board are 1,200 passengers and crew. As local port workers try to battle the flames, the ship begins to list, representing an even more serious threat of capsizing. But the more water the locals spray, the more the ship tilts. And no one yet knows the source of the fire. Well, you said it was the engine room. That the free winds arrive. Aw, oh, shit. They're like, fuck, it's these fucking space alien people. <laughs> free winds like I said earlier, if you're in a desperate situation, you'll accept help from the space alien people. He <laughs> goes in. They follow the cable networks, identifying hot zones using infrared detectors. I mean, like, really... Of the Isn't that kind of like a leak from a broken fuel line? The entire reason someone becomes a Scientologist is like, I am in desperate need of help. There's something like really wrong with my life. They drain. Like, oh, and bring the ship. Do you want to come in for a free whatever reading? Eighty hours with our e meters. But in the end, the ship and every single soul on board survives. I think Scientology's definitely like exaggerating the role that their boat had in what happened there. Yeah. The Free Winds is designated an official training ship by the International Maritime Organization. But what is the international? I bet this is a Scientology group, right? <laughs> the International Maritime Even if it's not, probably most ships get that designation then. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that if could they're be giving it, it to the Scientology ship. <laughs> right. It's a responsibility she has honored ever since. To date, the Freewinds has trained more than 3,000 port and maritime personnel, from captains to port workers, local marines, coast guards, and rescue workers, all in fulfillment of her greater humanitarian purpose. By using the Freewinds as a training platform, we were knowing the dedication more and more, and the staff were really willing. This guy probably asked him to not put his name. That's right. <laughs> okay, that's fair, yeah. <laughs> Instead of having foreigners working in our ports, we are now almost 90% locals. And that's because they were willing to assist us. Many nationals have chosen to undertake periods of apprenticeship with the free winds in port security. These people are like, all right, yeah, definitely train our people and none of that weird shit, right? <laughs> none of that weird shit. You're not here for that. That's not your job. They definitely gave them a pamphlet full of the weird shit. Though. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Entire nation. They know. They know the pamph. They know the pamphlet's coming. Yeah, we probably told them like, look, these guys will train you right, but they'll give you a pamphlet full of weird shit. Just don't say anything. Just throw it away after you leave. Other people charge for this, all right? These people are doing it for free. I didn't even know what to expect. It was totally different than what I thought it was going to be. It was like, what is that? Tell me more. And then I'm like, tell me more. And it was so easy to get all the answers. You can just walk right in, and that's all it takes. 
<laughs> oh, well, thanks. <laughs> just walk right in. That's all it takes. <laughs> Don't know what you heard. Yeah, you can just walk right in. That's all it takes to start giving them two hundred fifty thousand dollars to get the the book that talks about that space aliens. Oh, that you got a good deal if you if somebody got it for two fifty. Probably a good deal. <laughs> oh, you know what app is going to ask for the most permissions ever on your phone is the Scientology app. <laughs> They're going to ask for like telemetry that you didn't even know exists on your phone. <laughs> they've, they've like invented a new tracking system that you don't even know about. Oh, for sure. Live in an age of searching. Like their app's probably not very reliable, but I bet it tracks you like a motherfucker. Yeah. It's like, no, we need permission to like your birth control tracking app. Like we need permission to your like, like GPS constantly. We need to know. We need to know what you're watching on YouTube. <laughs> now imagine an age in which the predictability of science and the wisdom of religion combine. What? The wis- What wisdom of religion? Welcome to the age of answers. Whatever, at least they're not able to recruit people anymore. Are they not? It, I probably, the internet probably destroyed them. You think this boat videos <laughs> can make anybody join Scientology? <laughs> the year. I don't know. Maybe someone's like super into boats and just fucking loves this boat in particular. To a nation in need. Well, the easiest way I can get on there is join Scientology. The Colombian National Police Force with 40 of his officers. Colombia is a country shattered by crime. Yeah, I'm like wondering what Scientology is doing putting their hands in that fucking business and down there. From a civil war with a terrorist organization known as the FARC. A war which has raged on for more than 50 years. God, no, you're not going to go save Colombia with the boat. I know you're not going to do that. Crushing tourism. It's impossible. You can't save Colombia with the boat. this country home. And so the task begins for the... Oh my God, they're going to save Colombia with the boat. ...to help bring peace to a nation. The first step... <laughs> yes, the Scientologists are going to come in and save the day. Mr. Hubbard's common sense moral code. Oh, look, they're. Oh, no, they get. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> come on. Let's. You know what? This is a. This is a bit of a corrupt regime down here. Let's see. How can we make the police officers worse? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking CIA keeps sending the free winds to all these places to fucking scramble their fucking people's brains and shit. <laughs> a remarkable transformation takes place. Scientology getting in on trafficking cocaine. Maybe that's why they went there. I mean, it could be both. They had to pick up their shipment. It could be both. Colombian officials immediately sanctioned the distribution of 10 million more copies. Oh, there was money laundering or something going on here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was fucking something going on there. The second largest carnival in the world, where 2,000 police pass out 500,000 copies of The Way to Happy. Like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, some, there's something going on here. This is, unless they're just making this up, there's a hell of a story there. They could just be making it up, though. <laughs> yeah, you know. Wait, crime dropped 50%? <laughs> Excuse me? What? <laughs> On the streets, they just—they gave out some pamphlets, and everyone stopped doing <laughs> crimes. <laughs> I told you the free ones was going to save Colombia. <laughs> the results are the same. Didn't you know? Now Colombia has no crime, uh, and and this guy doesn't have a name either. <laughs> he just had his rank. Dr drug cultivation. How do you know this? El año pasado tuvimos el menor índice de homicidios en 32 años. But crime is only one side of Colombia's problems. And to help even if those stats are true, the free winds must literally none of it could be attributed to <laughs> Scientology. 
Like maybe like one crime could be attributed to the pamphlet <laughs> just because somebody was like trying to find the appropriate way to throw away the pamphlet and they didn't do a crime because they were trying to. Free Winds works directly with the Colombian army. Oh no! Oh no! This sounds bad. Forces in the first ever School of Human Rights and International Humanitarian Law. This sounds quite bad. Colombia, reaching more than two hundred fifty thousand over the next four years and reports of human rights abuse dropped by an astonishing 90 Those are probably pamphlets on how to get away with doing what Scientology does. The 96% drop in human rights abuse. That's just like, what does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, sometimes they'll throw out numbers that like, the only way they are able to get away with it is because it's meaningless. Yeah, like how would you even measure that? Like. <clears throat> like, if I just wouldn't share my vodka with you tonight, I would think that that's like a human rights abuse because you're guest in my place and I invited you here and you have the right to throw the vodka in my freezer. So, like, <laughs> like so, like, I think... So, because you shared it, that's a 100% drop in human rights abuse. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> Echoplex Media, 100% drop in human rights abuse. <laughs> The Colombian government convened special meetings hosted by the Free Winds at the Church of Scientology of Bogota. For the first time in history, the pos yeah, something's going on here. There's something going on. I'm telling you, they're just going and picking up their shipments. <laughs> Maybe it could be something else though. There's something there's something going on here. Reintegrating the rebels into society. To help train this task because either there's something going on here or if the free winds save Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's some kind of funny business, I think. Finally, in 2016, a peace accord is signed. The 52 year civil war is over. Thousands of rebel soldiers lay down their arms, and under the guidance of the task force, they begin their reintegration returning to society as productive citizens. The very next year, Colombia achieves its lowest homicide rate in over four decades. But this is because the Civil War ended. Yeah, this has nothing to do with the fucking boat. They like worked yeah. out. They got the, the Civil War seems to be over. It's like, hey, we got there right before something cool happened. Therefore, we caused that thing to happen. It's like a, it's like the it's like, to work together. Wait a minute, public affairs officer disagrees with you. And so begins the final phase of building the bridges of brotherhood between all faiths and bringing lasting peace to a nation. Like I nobody believes that your boat did this. <laughs> There's just no fucking way. Signs a decree promoting religious freedom. And, I mean, unless they're just doing this so they have a reason, so they appear to have a reason to be in Colombia, which is what I think is going on here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something's going on. They're moving something somewhere. We started to work with the different religions. We saw that the main thing we would try to achieve was the same. So it was beautiful too because we all came together. Aprendimos a ver que detrás de ese muro que habíamos construido Más allá de si eres cristiano, no eres cristiano, de si eres este musulmán o eres judío, si eres de este. This is a big claim that they're making here about their boat, I think. It's like a very bold. Well, some of these people, like some of the interviews are like, they have nothing to do with Scientology. Like they probably just told them, hey, can we interview you for like a documentary we're filming? And they, had, they gave no indication that that documentary was for Scientology. Or specifically Scientology's boat. Or maybe it was like celebration footage they got from somewhere else. Up next, I think they took that footage, but under false pretenses. Oh no, are they gonna, are they gonna use their weather machine to stop the hurricane? <laughs> Like we actually have the weather machine. It's on the free winds. I went to share your love. Here goes Jessica on her solo flight. We're gonna take these horses and we're gonna ride them through the wildest terrain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Don't miss Documentary Showcase on Scientology Network. So one of my favorite things about the Scientology Network is that when it tells you what time something is, it doesn't bother with the time zone because it knows nobody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a YouTube stream. <laughs> like it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like there's no, it, it, it's not separated out by time zone. So we will go to unimagined premiering at time PM. Right. It, there's no way. What do you mean? A explore the greatest <laughs> mysteries of our, isn't this an international network to unearth old wisdom and new truths to pull back the curtain and discover meaning. Answers. Not just what people say, but what really is. A lot of this is stock footage. No matter for sure that they see. bought this yeah. is Shutterstock. Yeah. yeah. There is one journey that reveals the greatest discovery of all. Yeah, they have like some. They probably have some exclusive deal with like a stock footage company. They're like, we need some some more of that exclusive stock footage. We need some of that stock footage that looks just a little bit like it might be a, vi a video telling you about the death of the white race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what that, you know, like with the bright blue eyes and shit. I'm like, oh, uh -oh. I, 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 <laughs> those were popular for a while. Curious about the boat, yes. <laughs> it's a million square miles of cerulean blue and emerald green. Thirty nations and independent territories across more than seven thousand islands. Mm -hmm. This is the Caribbean the place the free winds calls home, and thus a major focus of her humanitarian mission. In support of her community, the, the place the free winds calls home. I wonder why. You think it's taxes? It's like taxes, it might be, um, it might be that they just couldn't, they can't fly the US flag for you know, whatever reason there, the US was like, nah. <laughs> With 100% of the fund. I'd say it's probably taxes. Yeah, and most cruise ships are like out of Bermuda or like they're there. Yeah. Is that a tax thing that they do that? I, the free winds I don't know. It might be like. Humanitarian it might be a, a variety of reasons. Drug education, to human rights, to the way to happiness, to uplift and empower the people of these island nations. The free winds came into our lives at a time where the kids really needed that boost and needed to see people, peers, their peers, people like themselves talking about the use and abuse of drugs. Oh, they talked about drugs. These we gotta hit the bong. They are now activists and advocates for the cause. If you're good, you're, you're good. Sharing the messages, sharing... That's why I've been taking small hits. With the, on the free winds. When you give a child a book with the 30 human rights, it's as if they're thirsty for water, or they're just hungry for food. You know, I could see the, the need and to learn more of the human rights because they didn't know those rights before. Hey, today's 420, so anyone listening at home, you have to smoke weed. But you don't have to. We saw immediate results. You don't have to, but you'll be a square if you don't. It's it's the recommended behavior. <laughs> oh, are they going to give us statistics again about how they showed up at this place and then no, no more drugs? All the drugs down 96%. Yeah, they even actually deaths down 100%. Nobody dies anymore there. Oh, that's great. The interaction of yeah, nobody's born, nobody dies. It's just static. Which like demonstrates constant. A true and sincere commitment to a cause. In not just merely extending a hand or granting a favor, but it a They call it Scientological Stasis. That passion is one of love, one of sincerity, 
and one of true friendship and happiness. Ships are registered to Caribbean nations for regulation reasons? Well, what are the regulations, though? Like tax regulations or...? Uh, and it's cruel to be able to do that. Some other regulations. Probably many regulations. The threat these islands face yeah. is Mother Nature. Oh no, here we go. Oh uh, look, our, uh, we launched a satellite from the free winds and launched a news channel to tell you about the, the hurricane. the Caribbean. That was probably NASA footage. You know, you can use NASA footage in anything. It's public domain. A path of destruction that spans over a thousand miles and more than a dozen island nations. Yep, that's a hurricane, all right. Thousands of people in critical need of resources and support. So instead of that, we brought them pamphlets. <laughs> One yeah, they even get the pamphlets and be like, fuck am I supposed to do with this? The first priority. Apply mortar and use it as a brick? It's too thin. Wait, why are they flying? Oh, do they fly those people out? Are they flying a bunch of... Oh, they're flying a bunch of Scientologists in. That's not good. First they had a hurricane, and now the fucking Scientologists are, like, <laughs> surveying the fucking beach and shit. No. No. Medical care and support. Oh, those are touch assists. That is nothing. ...resources needed is massive. So the Free Winds reaches out to an international network of Scientologists... Oh, they sent more Scientologists. Fuck. <laughs> Shipping containers full of Scientologists. <laughs> you open the door, they're like, Do we get food yet? <laughs> they directly helped nearly 18,000 people affected by the hurricanes. On behalf of the people of Dominica, you know, we shall be eternally grateful. Uh, what an oddly specific number of, like, people helped. Uh, they do that all the time. The How would you measure that? They don't. <laughs> yeah, they just make up numbers. Uh, for what you've been doing away <clears throat> years. I think Toss they, in like a, an addition, a multiplication. The there you go. You're all done. I think that if they they think that if the number made up looks silly, then you would think that it was accurately measured, like it ends in a seven or like a two or something. <laughs> Salvage of the discovery. Oh, that's dope, actually. Commemorative stamps. From How much do you think that thing was? If they, if they were selling that little globe thing they just showed? Uh, if it didn't mention Scientology, I would have bought it for maybe like 40? 50? Thousand? Individual award. That's probably how much How they big want, was it? I don't know. It looked like... You did this. Yeah, it was That's a not $50,000. Scientology might be. And so well, also, what's it made out of? It's, if it's just glass, it's not $50,000. If it's like a pure diamond. General Jaime Ramirez Gomez, Inspector General Transparency Medal. What the fuck? One of the most prestigious awards of the national police. Hay más que suficientes razones para que impongamos esta medalla a la persona que está liderando a esta gran organización de Scientology. Oh no. Yeah, this is bad. It's like, this doesn't seem good again. Scientology shows yeah. up and trains the police <laughs> in these places seems bad. Yeah, what What did they give? Oh, they gave David Miscavige a name. Did you see that? <laughs> they did. <laughs> yeah, he's, the, he's, the, he's the lead guy, though. Oh, and now he's a sheriff or some shit, too. Oh, that's weird. But, like, what did they give them... Or what did they deliver for them? Right, I have no idea. Yeah, like what's the what's the quid pro quo here? Yeah. <laughs> Powered by five thousand years of nautical experience. Wait, what? <laughs> Fueled by twenty-first century technology and age-old tradition, <laughs> and guided by a humanitarian purpose. The Sea Org motor vessel Freewinds fulfills an objective set out by Scientology's founder. To bring help wherever it is needed. And thus create a world where all can rise to greater heights. They already showed this footage. Oh yeah, it's over. A Scientology Network exclusive. See, the rest of it is just fucking... More ads. More ads for themselves. <laughs> so, uh, HK, do you want to read the show out? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that as much as we did. 
Uh, that was fantastic. <laughs> uh, we do the show every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, you can find us on Twitch at Echoplex Media and on Patreon at Echoplex. And you can find Dave pretty much everywhere. Grinder. And you can, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at HK Perrin. And uh, we hope to see you next week. Uh, if you're listening on the podcast, uh, won't you try joining us on Twitch sometime? And if you're listening on Twitch, we'll see you on the other side for Red Light. This is... Uh, Boomers by Periscope. Should you pay when well-